It's 131 years old and it has deep Colorado ties. This locomotive has logged tens of thousands of miles across the state and there are only five like it in the world, but none of them work. CBS 4's Dominic Garcia spoke to a group that is coming together for Colorado to change that. If you love Colorado, then you can thank steam locomotives. They basically built this state, but you don't see many around anymore. Well, there is one. It's over 100 years old, just sitting in Idaho Springs, and now one group is coming together to get it back on the tracks. She's seen a lot of Colorado. People who love trains always refer to them as she. And if you ask Benjamin Farron at 130 years old, she is still a knockout. I find a real attachment to them. I love them to death. And this thing has some stories. Oh, yeah. Stories from all over Colorado, South Park, Boreas Pass, and the snowplow trials at Hancock in 1890. It spent most of its life going from Denver to Leadville, and in 1941, it was donated to Clear Creek County, sitting in Idaho Springs ever since, one of only five Colorado Southern locomotives left in the world. Well, it's one of those things that you rub your hand across and you wonder who else did too. It's like finding a little piece of like a gem that, you know, you dug up, except it's right here and it's huge. On average, she probably did about 50,000 miles a year. Benjamin is the VP of the Colorado and Southern Railway Society, and they have big plans for old number 60. She is a relic and she's very important the way she sits, but you don't get a sense of what it really is because it's not alive. Their plan? Restore it to working condition. Basically, it's taking it apart, cleaning parts, evaluating them. A lot of them we think are good. They're currently working on grant applications to pay for the project that will cost several hundred thousand dollars. And it's not just the locomotive they want to restore. So this passenger car was built in 1896. They also want to spruce up the passenger car behind it, which for back in the day was pretty nice with cushy seats, even bathrooms. It even has a skylight on the top of it. What would it mean to you to, to see this thing back on the tracks? That's a deep question. <laughs> and if you don't know trains, it's hard to explain. But if Benjamin has his way, once this is up and running, people will know what makes her so special. There's no greater thrill than seeing one of these things come to life and do what they were meant to do. So from here, the city council needs to extend their contract with the Colorado and Southern Railway Society, which they're optimistic about. Eventually, this thing will be moved to be restored, and we asked them, how are they going to do that? They said with a very big truck. In Idaho Springs, Dominic Garcia covering Colorado First.